Imagine peeling back the skin of a ripe banana and finding, not the soft, creamy fruit you expected, but a tiny source of radiation. Yes, that's right, bananas emit radiation. This astonishing fact is due to the presence of potassium-40, a naturally occurring isotope. What's more mind-blowing is that this isotope is present in all potassium-containing foods, but bananas are famously radioactive due to their high potassium content. Culturally, bananas have been a staple in diets worldwide, adding a layer of intrigue to our daily consumption. Rest assured, the level of radiation is so low it's completely harmless, and you would need to eat millions of bananas in one sitting to feel any effects. But next time you savor a banana, take a moment to appreciate its unparalleled, albeit minuscule, radioactive buzz. Ever admired the elegant patterns on a granite countertop, unaware that you were in the presence of natural radiation? The granite that adds such luxury to kitchens and baths contains trace amounts of uranium, which can emit radon gas over time. Before you panic, know that this is a natural phenomenon. Granite is formed from the cooling of magma, which includes these radioactive elements. The story of granite goes back to the Earth's formation, grounding this fact in a deep geological history. While it's essential to ensure proper ventilation to mitigate any risk from radon, the natural beauty of granite and its low-level radiation are simply parts of the Earth's extraordinary fabric. Let this sink in the next time you lean against your kitchen counter. It's a piece of the planet's history, quietly radiating stories of the past. Buckle up for a cosmic revelation. Sunflower seeds, the snack of choice for baseball players and road trippers alike, carry a little secret. They are brushed with cosmic radiation. Seeds, like sunflowers, spend their growing days bathing in sunlight, which includes cosmic rays that bombard our planet continuously. Though these rays are often deflected by the Earth's atmosphere, they leave a slight radioactive signature on everything they touch. This intertwining of space, sun, and soil is not only fascinating, but gives a whole new dimension to the cultural practice of munching on these seeds during shared pastimes. Fear not, for this radiation is imperceptible and certainly harmless, yet it's a marvel that such everyday snacks have a connection to the vast cosmos above us. Ever wondered how something as mundane as a smoke detector could house a component of the atomic world? Inside these life-saving devices is a small amount of americium, 241, a synthetic radioactive substance. This element is crucial for detecting smoke and saving lives. The story of americium is one of human ingenuity. It was first produced in the labs that contributed to the atomic age, highlighting a positive application of nuclear research. The radiation emitted is negligible, contained, and crucial for the ionization process that detects smoke. When you go to bed tonight, remember the tiny, tireless sentinel perched on your ceiling, its atomic heart silently guarding against the unseen threat of fire. Hold on to your hats. Brazil nuts are nature's little nuclear reactors. These nuts are among the most radioactive foods we can eat due to their high levels of selenium and radium, elements that plants absorb from the earth. The radium concentration is such that handling a large shipment of Brazil nuts can trigger radiation detectors at ports. But don't worry, the levels in a handful of nuts are harmless and contribute to a rich, savory flavor that is unparalleled. This nuance adds a fascinating layer to Brazil nuts' cultural significance in South America, where they've been enjoyed for centuries. The next time you snack on these nuts, you're not just indulging in a healthy treat, you're also getting a taste of the planet's elemental complexity. Once upon a time, glowing wristwatches were a marvel of technology. The secret to their luminescence, radium paint. This fascinating application allowed people to tell time in the dark, a novelty that quickly became a cultural icon. However, the history of radium timepieces is bittersweet. While they showcased the glamour of the Roaring Twenties, the dangers of radium exposure were not yet understood. The paint used on these dials is a poignant reminder of humanity's journey through the atomic age, highlighting both our achievements and naivete. Nowadays, safer materials have replaced radium, but the legacy of these glowing timekeepers illuminates a time when radiation was mysterious and enchanting. The healing waters of thermal springs have been a part of human relaxation and ritual for millennia. Little did ancient bathers know these soothing waters often contain naturally occurring radon. 
The Earth's crust is laced with radioactive materials, and when water percolates through, it picks up trace amounts of these substances. Historically, these springs were thought to have mystical healing properties, and in a sense, they do carry the potent forces of the Earth. Taking a dip in a thermal spring is like bathing in the waters of geology, where the warmth is matched by a trace of Earth's inner fire. Soak in the knowledge that with every spa-like experience, you're connecting with the primordial forces of the planet. Strap in for a fact that soars above the clouds. When you fly at high altitudes, you're exposed to increased levels of cosmic radiation. The higher you go, the thinner the atmosphere, and the less protection you have from these energetic particles from space. This phenomenon turns commercial flights into an ethereal radiation experience, especially on polar routes where the Earth's magnetic field does less to shield passengers. Aviation history has always been about pushing boundaries, and this includes the invisible boundaries of radiation. While the exposure is modest, and generally not a concern for frequent flyers, it's a sublime thought that simply by traveling in an airplane, you're brushing slightly closer to the stars. Imagine standing under the night sky as curtains of light dance above you, an aurora. This spectacular display is a visual symphony played out by radiation. Charged particles from the sun collide with atoms in the Earth's atmosphere, resulting in this breathtaking light show. While the auroras are a grand visual, they also sing a silent song of the radiation that makes them possible. Cultural tales have woven the auroras into myths of gods and spirits, but the science reveals a connection to the cosmic ballet of solar winds and magnetic fields. Witnessing an aurora is not just a treat for the eyes, it's an immersive experience in the natural radiation that surrounds us. In the not-so-distant past, the warm glow of a cathode ray tube television was a staple in homes around the world. These bulky precursors to flat screens operated by firing electrons in a vacuum tube and directing them at the screen to create an image. Yes, a controlled form of radiation right in the living room. While the levels were incredibly low, it's a testament to the ubiquitous nature of radiation in technology. The evolution from these radiant boxes to modern displays is a narrative of progress and a reflection of how we've harnessed and minimized the use of radiation in everyday life. Next time you watch a vintage television, think of the gentle hum of electrons painting a picture, a relic of the atomic age in our entertainment history. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these incredible facts, remember to like this video and subscribe to Psy Pulsar for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and see you soon.